તો હા સ્વાગત છે તમારું એપિસોડ ત્રણ માં બહુ ક્રિન્જી લાગે છે પણ ઠીક છે ફોર્મેલિટી તો ઇન ધીસ એપિસોડ આઈ વિલ બી ઇન્ટરવ્યુંગ મન દેસાઈ ઓફ કોમ્પ્યુટર એન્જિનિયરિંગ ડિપાર્ટમેન્ટ તો યુ વિલ ગેટ ધ આઈડિયા ઓફ વોટ કોમ્પ્યુટર એન્જિનિયરિંગ ઇઝ એન્ડ વોટ યુ વિલ લર્ન ઇન ઇટ એન્ડ અધર થિંગ્સ આઈ હોપ યુ વિલ એન્જોય ધ એપિસોડ એન્ડ ગેઇન સમ good information regarding it myself man desai i am third year undergraduate student at dharam city sai university uh, computer engineering department my interests are in java specifically java programming language and uh, like f- uh, the framework based on the java like spring boot and hibernate which type of people should choose this field according to your self your perspective so those people who really wants to learn programming specifically uh, like uh computer science is not j- just a subject of programming language it's all about fundamentals of computer science yes. uh so there are there are a lot of uh core subjects which are there like operating system uh microprocessor and uh, algorithms if we need to solve some problems so that problems we can solve uh, using this techniques or subjects by knowledge of this subject so uh those people like after 12th if they have pursue pursued for maths uh after uh, after 10th then they can uh, choose in the specific engineering field and yeah re- the the cut offs are really higher for this branch how many sense in your other and in all those sense which concepts you learn which the languages you you learn in those particular sense so uh, there are eight semesters so in the first year it's the basic stuff like uh basic electrical engineering physics mathematics all like three maths are there maths one maths two maths three according to the three semesters uh and uh, if you from the perspective of programming yeah. uh, we have c in the first semester yeah. and in the second semester c++ yeah. and some of the concept of stl as well uh, is there in the c++ so the first second year is uh, normal to the icd people like yeah. it, information and communication technology like it is the all the subjects are common uh so moving on to the second year so second year uh like in the third semester there are database management and dsa like these are these two are very core subjects uh third in the third semester the fourth semester is all about java com- uh, computer system architecture and da means at design and analysis of algorithm so like uh, some advanced version of algorithms that you have studied in the dsa will be taught in the da subject so basically it's an hierarchy so in the third semester we have dsa fourth semester we have da and the fifth semester you have advanced algorithm so basic to advanced yes so it's like all the concepts of al- algorithms from basic to advanced will be taught and yes specifically from this uh, fourth semester we have jt subject java technology in which we uh, like there are three sessional phase in which we need to uh, cover the syllabus so the fo- in the first sessional we have uh, core java part uh, second sessional we have servlets and jsp and in the third sessional we have frameworks like spring boot and hibernate and uh, if time permits uh, the spring security also will be taught so uh, this is about the fourth sem curriculum like this is the uh what you can say the main programming subject the first programming su- subject uh, that you completely learn so you need to make an web application if you want to make web application api calls from the postman how to do that how to pass data to server how to get data from the server in the java right so that will be taught uh like this is a part of uh, curriculum this is not like extra curricular activity or something ha huh, okay so i am currently in fifth semester and this this semester is like very very much hectic because uh we have like lot of programming languages we need to study and implement so for an example uh the first subject is advanced technology in which we learn the whole web application full stack web application so front end part like there are two frameworks of front end uh react and uh angular okay right. so that is front end part uh if i talk about back end then we have node js and express 
along with MongoDB, we study like query, how to write queries and all such stuff. And also we have jQuery or something, right? So that, that are extra topics which, which will be covered in this subject. And this is really important because it is having exam. You have to write all the, on the paper. Yes. And implementation, for the implementation, we have, we are given a project, set of projects that we need to implement. The second subject is Flutter. So, in which there is only laboratory session. So, your lab in charge will guide you through, like, from the first lab to fifth lab, we have Dart lab, programming language. And from the next onwards, like, from the next lab, 6 to 12. Uh, we have flutter specific like project we need to make we need to make some presentation uh, yes this is the second subject third subject uh, like in the fifth semester is dot net so all the dot net framework dot net core uh, mvc uh, that will be taught uh, so we need to also make two projects based on that so there is like lengthy what you can say a lengthy semester uh, uh, along with it we have advanced algorithm uh, operating system uh, and MFP microprocessor fundamentals. Uh, these are three, like total four subjects are there, and like some extra labs and all. Okay. Now moving onwards, it's your sixth sem placement or your uh, uh, internships. Okay, so in the fifth semester, the Mastercard came for offering an internship. Uh, it, uh, it, they are offering forty thousand sti as a stipend to each and every intern that they have selected. And they will schedule your coding round first. Yeah. Like, if you are selected, if you are in C branch, then they will offer you like your your placement cell will mail you like that you are selected or not. Yeah. And according to mail, you need to give you need to present there uh, for the coding round. If you are selected, like there are two questions this time. If you are selected, then uh, interview call will be there. So in our department itself, they uh, they are you know taking the interviews and all so uh, yes the stipend is there but if you are selected for uh, full time job in the master guard so uh, they'll give you according to that uh, like salary. salary yes so so moving on to other questions tell me about your fees and uh, admission here the admissions are uh, through acbc yeah. so they'll allocate you like numbers like in the after 12th uh, after your board exam is complete, afterwards you need to uh, appear for Gujarat exam. Yeah. So Gujarat Common Entrance Test, and if you like co combine 50-50 percent or 60-40 ratio is there. Yeah. So according to that, they will evaluate your uh, ranks, and all over Gujarat rank will be there, and they'll uh, they'll they'll have some sort of rounds, yeah. like three rounds are there. Okay. So if you are selected, like there are criteria for granted and seat, management quota. Uh, in this department, we have 30, 30 seats allocated for granted and seats. Uh, another seats are for NRI quota, 10 seats are. Management seats are like, uh, it's divided into two management portion. Like, it is first, first management seat is through your ACBC rank. And the second uh, seats which are there for good, your, it, it's purely based on your good set exam results. So, uh, that is how the admission process occurs fees yes so fees are uh, at this time we have like one lakh fifty four thousand around fees you can go like it will it can vary okay. according to that according to the what about the yeah. government quota fees yeah government quota fees are like minimal very much minimal like four five five thousand seven thousand uh, around uh, what about your exam assignment project so uh like the curriculum is how it works so we have firstly we have sessions or lectures so according to the lectures uh, labs are conducted so if you study some co uh, theoretical concept in uh, your lectures then you will appear for laboratory session it is compulsory for every everyone and in which there are they have give they have given like one document uh, the aim is there and all such and according to we need to perform practicals according to the subject and yes it is mandatory to appear for the lab session because if you don't appear you will not understand how practically it will work so yes so internal and external structures are like fixed okay. 
uh, we have span of three months in which three sessionals will be conducted and one external is there after 20 days of gap of the third after third sessional internal exam is called sessional yeah. and after 20 days we have external exam so why why and all such things will be there in in the in those Excellent. 20 days so tell me about the reality or the experience that you had in campus or in ce department okay so uh, in in ce specifically like there are a lot of great people yeah. students who are really uh, just wanted to pursue their uh, what you can say passion uh, but there are a lot of students as well that they are just taking this uh, CE because of placements uh, that may be the possibility but here the environment is really good faculties are really good supportive and uh, they really provide enough knowledge to execute like what to do like the core concepts of that particular subject although it is uh, in a hurry but you need to like in the engineering obviously we need to make yeah. uh, like our self study self self studies yeah. Yeah. disadvantage and advantage according to your perspective fully biasly of taking CE like the the learning is the first thing uh, second is curriculum hackathons groups uh, events yeah. uh, like there are a lot of uh, you can say like clubs are there like uh, csi is there computer society of india gds is there if you if you are in hostel and if you want to participate or uh, if you want to uh, if you want to grow in the field of management or something uh, leadership management all such skills then you can go there yes so that is the big advantage we have uh, we do have like sports club and all such things so uh, after your sense, uh, after your semester ends, uh, we have like sports activities or some uh, outdoor uh, outdoors will be conducted. And uh, if you are really interested in some subjects or concepts, if you really want to pursue that subject uh, after like your masters, if you want to pursue, then faculty itself will help you because they uh, they have gone through the whole journey of this. Because our in our department the 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 unique thing is that the all the faculties are also graduated from this department itself yeah. disadvantage is generally it is not there but it is if you are like that person you don't want to appear for sessional exams or if you don't want to study those subjects which you are not looking for so for an example uh, microprocessor is one subject which is totally related to hardware so if you don't want to pursue that subject further but you need to appear for the exams there is no like side way you cannot pass that ex like you need to pass that exam so what about elective subjects is there any elective subjects uh yes there are in the in the syllabus itself they have mentioned like elective subjects but we don't have elective subjects in each and every year so uh, it depends on the faculty how the faculty like how the faculties know that subject if it is like newly established or inserted in the uh, curriculum. curriculum then uh, it may take like longer time to Im like yeah. implement yeah. yes so uh, it will be taught eventually if they have added the subjects or technology according to the industry standards i guess but now there is no such type of subject no till now we don't have any subjects so what is the scope or sort of exams you can take and courses or things you pursue after see according to you so uh, gate is one exam which i mentioned like gate is uh, after engineering okay. so if you have completed your undergraduation then you can appear for gate exam it's the subjects are like really uh, like there are 10 or 12 subjects okay. core subjects which you uh, which yeah. you'll encounter the subjects uh, the questions which you'll encounter yeah. of the subjects so uh, gate is there if you are uh, if you really want like the reason behind the gate examination you can get your masters from iids or iims or i like isc bangalore is one there yeah. colleges i want to thank you three persons first is nandesai who agreed to be interviewed who agreed to speak against the camera. It was his first time. 
सो कहीं पर भी भूल रही हो तो इग्नोर करजो इन्फॉर्मेशन पर ध्यान आप जो जेस्चर्स के पर्सनल ओपिनियंस पर एट बधो नहीं एंड बीजी वस्तु थैंक्स देन टू बीट्स माई डियर फ्रेंड धर्मेंद्र मांडवी हु हुज म्यूजिक बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक आई यूज फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू एंड थर्ड पर्सन वुड बी रौनक भाई ओनर ऑफ कैनल कैफे द कैफे इन विच आई रिकॉर्डेड माई इंटरव्यूज and also future interview all these interviews are recorded in canal cafe you can thank me later for this interviews till then see ya bye bye peace